Hi everybody, my name is Mark Brown and I'm a Principal Program Manager on the Azure Cosmos DB team here at Microsoft. And today I want to talk about a new feature called Multimaster. Multimaster is a new feature in Cosmos DB that effectively makes every region now a writable full master within Cosmos DB, providing single digit latency, five nines availability, uh, tunable consistency levels, and unlimited endpoint scalability within Azure Cosmos DB. This feature is now available in all Azure regions, all data models, and all SDKs. So currently within Cosmos DB, we have single digit latency for reads, less than 10 millisecond latency worldwide at the 90th, 99th percentile. With Multimaster, you now get that less than 10 millisecond latency for reads and writes, and of course, this is all backed by our SLAs. We already have five nines availability for reads within Cosmos DB. We now have that for reads and writes. This really provides an implicit fault tolerance for your applications. There's no need to fail over because if a region becomes unavailable, your other regions, your other Cosmos DB databases within those regions now just take over since they're all full masters. Multimaster within Cosmos DB provides the same consistency levels uh, as Cosmos DB it does itself and provides those clear trade-offs between availability, latency, and throughput. And of course, it's flexible. because You can override that per request if you want. Adding Multimaster support in Cosmos DB is really easy. Just go into the portal and create a new Cosmos DB account, click Enable Multimaster, and then click Next. After your account is configured or provisioned, you just add regions to it. And there's no need to configure failover since, as I mentioned before, every region is a full master within Azure Cosmos DB. In your applications, there's really not much to do either. You just use multiple write locations property, set that to true within the connection policy for the document client, and then you add locations within the preferred locations collection. You want to add these in the preferred order from closest to furthest within your application so that if a region becomes unavailable, your application will automatically go to the next closest region. With an active-active pattern in uh, Multimaster, uh, conflicts can happen, but occasionally. We have multiple conflict management resolution patterns that you can enable uh, within Cosmos DB. Uh, the first one I want to talk about is Last Writer Wins. So in Last Writer Wins, this is the default conflict resolution mode within there. And what it does is it uses a numeric property to resolve conflicts uh, between your documents. So you can see in here, I've got two documents that are similar. Uh, one's for Scott and the other's for Satya. And then within the conflict resolver property, I have a property defined, user defined ID. Now within those two documents, I've got one that's set at three and another set at four. So if both these documents were written simultaneously in two different regions and creating a conflict, the one with the higher user defined ID is going to win the conflict. The next conflict resolution mode is custom. So within the portal, you would select the custom merge procedure, uh, and then you, re you can register a, uh, a stored procedure or a user defined function within there, or user defined procedure. Now this user defined procedure has a special signature within there. And the nice thing about that is, uh, since it's a stored procedure, you can access any other data within that collection and use that to resolve it. Here I have an example where I have a user defined function uh, and I'm using the same user-defined ID to pick the winner. In addition to the custom with the user-defined procedure, we also have a custom uh, asynchronous or a custom manual. This conflict resolution mode, what you do is just leave the stored procedure blank in there. Uh, Cosmos DB will then write all the conflicts uh, to the conflicts feed, uh, and then you can handle them uh, with a custom application to resolve them on your own. Within here, you can see here's what the conflict resolution feed looks like. So you want to go in and then you can create a switch statement to check on the operation kind, whether it's a create, an update, or a delete in there. And then you can handle each of those as you want with any custom code. Uh, the nice thing about this is the flexibility you get. Uh, you can refer to any source, whether it's another collection, another database, or even a web service or anything you want, uh, and use that to resolve the conflicts within the app. So let me give you a quick demo. And I want to show you the latency improvements you get by having every region now a full master within Cosmos DB. So here I have a multi-master enabled Cosmos DB account. And I've got a database called MM Demo, and then I have a collection called Contacts. Within the portal, you can see this is now configured for reads and writes in three different regions. I have Southeast Asia, US West 2, and North Europe. 
What I'm going to do now is I want to show you the speed improvements you get within your application when you're using Multimaster. So here what I've got is I've got an application and it's, collect, it's connecting to a single master uh, using the same region. So this VM is sitting in West US 2 and it's going to hit three regions in this order. West US 2, Southeast Asia, and then North Europe. So here I'm going to test 100 reads against US West 2 region. So let's see how fast that is. And as you would expect, that's very fast. So they're all going to be, or mostly going to be, less than 10 milliseconds within here. I now want to test 100 writes against West US 2. And here you can see they're significantly longer. And the reason is the writable region for this database is in Southeast Asia. So the application which is hosted in West US 2 has to tra travel all the way across the Pacific over to that region to do the writes. So that's pretty slow. Now I'm going to do the same test. And this time, I'm going to use that multi-master enabled database with the same regional preference. And here, as you would expect, it's going to be fast. Now let's do that same test for 100 writes against West US 2. And look at this. Now I've got a lapse time of less than 10 milliseconds on average for all of my inserts in West US 2. So this is the kind of benefit you can get using Multimaster uh, within Cosmos DB, is that it really enables a lot of scenarios now with gaming or e-commerce or any application where you need to deploy it uh, into multiple regions and get that as close to your customers as possible. Cosmos DB with Multimaster makes every region writable. You get ten, less than 10 millisecond write latency five nines write and read availability, the same flexible consistency levels, flexible conflict resolution, and really with this feature you get unlimited and elastic scalability. It's available in all regions for all data models and all SDKs. And to get started uh, for samples or even to try Cosmos DB for free, uh, just look at some of the links here below. That's it, and thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed.